one thing that's always puzzled me. Mm -hmm. Why do balloons go upwards instead of falling down to the ground? Well, it's the air I'm putting into them. So? Well, it's lighter than air. Oh, you mean like blonde hair is lighter than black hair? Something like that, yeah. Oh. Now, go and get me another box of balloons off the bike. OK. Hey, Paul, Paul, my balloons have gone. Somebody's moved them. What? Of course they've gone. You've let them go, haven't you? Oh, sorry, Paul. I should think so, too. We're going to have to start all over again now. Oh. Here. Paul! Not now, Barry. I'm busy. You just make sure you hang on to all those balloons. I know. I'll get a gun and shoot the balloons. No! No! Oh, maybe not. I know. Don't go away. Paul, don't leave me. Paul! Where have you been? Fred's the bread, the baker's. Here, eat this. Another one. There we are. There's nothing in the world quite so heavy as Fred the Bread's rock cakes. Yeah. Could have been very nasty there, Paul. It could. We might have lost all the balloons. These rock cakes are lying a bit heavy, Paul. Mmm. How many balloons have we sold so far? Um. None. Oh, not as bad as I thought. I'll tell you what we need to do. Buy some more balloons. And bigger ones. Well, that's inflation for you. Now, one of us is going to have to pop down to see June the balloon, while the other one stays here with his feet up. Right. Which one's which? Need you ask? You wait here while I go down on the chuckmobile. Really? You want me to stay here with my feet up while you go out? Yes. Don't you want to stay here with your feet up? Oh, if you insist. Goodbye. <laughs> Open them now. Where is it? Here. Where? Here. Don't be silly. There's nothing here. Look up and around you. Oh. Where did you get a tent this size from? It's not a tent. It's a balloon. And we're inside it? Yeah. Well, that's silly, isn't it? I mean, at Christmas time, people want a balloon in the front room, not the front room in a balloon. It is big, isn't it? You must have done something wrong. Well, the machine in the factory probably made a mistake. Instead of making one big balloon, it made one big balloon instead of merely... Have a look at the instructions. Then the boss will have gone mad. Then they said, you better not do that. Will you we'll... shut up? Hey, you know we've got here, Barry. A picture of a balloon? No, outside. We've only got our own hot air balloon. We'll never sell that. No, but we could fly in it. Fly in it? Yes. And that set me thinking. Again? Air travel. That's the future. We could open up our own airline. Who knows where we'd end up? Timbuktu? Constantinople? Scunthorpe? I don't fancy Timbuktu or Constantinople. Anyway, 
Do you know anything about flying a balloon? Of course I do. For instance, when I mention the name Findus Fogg, what does that bring to mind? Frozen frogs? Frozen... No, no, no. Fog. Fog. You don't understand, do you? I haven't got the foggiest. Findus Fogg. It was a character in the book, Around the World in 80 Days. And Pasta too. Pasta too? It's French. No, it's not. It's Italian. Hello? London Airport? Oh, Paul Chuckle of the Chuckle Brothers here. Hey, Barry, he's heard of us. Good. We've decided to set up our own airline from your airport. Hello? Hello? That's funny. He's gone dead. Perhaps he's engaged. Married, I think. You can tell by the ring. Oh. Anyway, we don't need them. We could open up our own airport. Passengers yet, Paul? Well, they better hurry up. I'm determined to set off bang on time for our maiden flight. What are you doing anyway? Checking the weather. It's vital that you have an accurate forecast of all the weather conditions. Oh. What's that? That's a weather sock. It tells us how strong the wind is. It's very accurate. So what does it tell us now then? Not very windy. You see, Barry, wind speed is measured in knots, and see there's not many knots in the sock. It means there's not much wind. Oh. And this here, this measures the rainfall. Oh, my goodness me. According to this, we're in the middle of a monsoon. I'll have to go and check the satellite picture. What does it show? The Simpsons. Oh, no, not again. And finally, the barometric pressure. Hmm, snow and fog. So let me get this straight. There's no breeze, yet we're in the middle of a monsoon storm with snow and fog. Hmm. But it looks all right to me. We'll be all right to fly. Right, in you get. <laughs> right, chocks away. <laughs> Hey, Paul, are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I do. It's just like riding a bike. I'm just a bit rusty, that's all. But it's OK. I've got my manual here. Ah! We're on fire! Don't be silly. It's supposed to do that. It fills the balloon with hot air. Do we need that with you here? Yeah, you have a go. What? Take off. Right, pull that rope in. Hey, Paul. Paul, what? you see what he says here? He says the most important part of ballooning is to make sure you have a reliable recovery vehicle to pick you up when you land. Of course. I knew that. Did you? That's why I invented this. My patent chuckle homing device. I just switch it on and the chuckmobile follows us wherever we go. What? It's not moving. Oh, dear. I forgot to turn it on. I know. What? shiny bird over there. Oh, yes, very pretty. Do you know, I think that's one of a very rare species. Really? What's it called? Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the very few big, shiny, silver birdias. Oh, looks like a jumbo jet to me. Yes, well, it... Hang on. 
It is a jumbo jet. Hey, he's coming right for us. Don't worry, we'll stand our ground. We've got the right away, you know. He's still coming right for us, Paul. He'll turn in a minute. You watch. He hasn't turned yet. He will, he will. Do you know, Barry, that should never have happened. You're telling me. Can we go down now? Oh, no, 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 no. We've got a schedule to keep. Do you know what we need is one of those flashing light things so other aircraft can see us? Yes, but where are we going to get one of those? We might... Uh-oh. <laughs> All we've got to do is to stick this on top of the balloon. Yes, but how are we going to get it up there? It's easy. Up you go. How are you doing? Getting there. Hurry up, you're making me spill my tea. Hey, Paul, it's very bouncy up for you. Will you hold that beacon still? Oi! What are you doing? Hey, this is great! Barry! Be careful! You'll make a hole in it! Oh no! We're losing height! Ah! This is silly! We need to get a grip of ourselves! Sandbags! Language? No, that's what we need, sandbags! Oh. oh, great, thanks! What do you do that for? Well, we need to lose some weight so we can go higher. Oh! We're still losing height! We're still losing height! We're still losing height! Oh! Hey, that's done it! Bit of a close shave there, buddy. Barry? 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 Paul? Just add one. I'm not having a very good day. Look, stay there. I'll come and get you. Oh. Right. You climb on my shoulders and get back up there. Right. Oh, oh I, have to, I can't see. Oh, I can't see. That's it. Okay, now up you go. Go up. Hey, up on my shoulders. Stand on my shoulders. Yeah, up. Up. You all right? All right. Okay, I'm in. Just one thing, buddy. What's that? How am I going to get back in? Hang on, I'll come down. Oh. Right. Stand on my shoulders and get back in. Okay. Been a bit 
nasty, that. How are you feeling? Fine. Good. Now, up you go. Go and mend that hole. Promoting you to flight engineer. We ain't got an engineer. You're right. Oh, look at the time. We bang on schedule for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the airport. On behalf of Barry and myself, I would like to thank you for flying Chuckle International Airways. And I hope you had a pleasant flight. Hey, Paul, who are you talking to? The passengers. We haven't got any passengers. Well, I know that, and you know that, but they don't know that, do they? Oh. Cabin doors to neutral. Right, Barry, landing procedures. Can't do it, but I don't see why not. <laughs> nah, not that one! Silly thing. Even if I do say so myself. Now, where's the chuckmobile? Must be around here somewhere. This remote controller mine's infallible. Made it myself. Nothing can go wrong with it. I don't know why it's doing this. Stupid thing, it's rubbish. Paul, down here. <laughs> there you are. I told you it was infallible, didn't I? Where exactly are we? Well, um. I don't know. You don't know? Tell you what, I'll consult my map. Right. Oh, dear. Tell you what, I've been thinking. It's a lovely day for a bike ride. Come on. <laughs> 